Hey there, happy Christmas. What day is it today, Will? Happy Smartest Friday, December 4th, 2020. What are we doing today, sweetheart? Paycheck store, like um, payday hmm. every day. It's called Five Below for a message for a writing story this Christmas weekend. Yes, um, my husband uh, is off today. He took the day off, which is nice because I had no idea. Um, Will um, basically showed me a script of what he wanted to happen for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this weekend. And um, so, first of all, we're going to head to the bank because um, I have to cash a check. Um, I uh, dog sit for my brother. Um, and his hurt. wife, Amber, um, you know, I have made some videos while I've been over there, um, and, uh, I go, they have a bulldog named Josie, and my, uh, my brother's other four dogs, um, are outside, but Josie can't be outside, she, uh, Bulldogs are special, you know, um, they have breathing issues, so they can't be hot, but also she can't be where the other dogs are because Gunner, um, he's a Chesapeake Bay, um, can only, he can only put up with things for certain, for a certain short amount of time and then he snaps, <laughs> and, um, uh, so she loves, absolutely loves Gunner. So he attacks her. So anyhow, you know, Are you sure? um, <laughs> I dog sit some weekends over there, take care of her, um, mostly Saturday and Sundays. But um, so I have a check that I need to cash, and then it's ten o'clock. Um, Will wants to go to Five Below, and I'm going to give him um, $15 out of uh, out of my money, so he can get what he wants there. And then he requested too that he wants to eat at um, White Castle. Now, I don't think my husband and I are going to eat White Castle for our lunch, but. Um, Right next door to White Castle is a barbecue place. It's really good. Um, what's it called, honey? Do you remember? The name escapes me right now. I can't think of it, but it's really good. They it's a have chain. A, it's a chain. Yeah, it's a chain. They have a really good um, pulled pork sandwich or whatever kind of meat, you know. But So I think the possibility Paul and I might eat there for our lunch um and then dickies. dickies yeah that's it dickies barbecue um there is a couple doors down from the five below there's a dollar tree so i may want to go in there and look around um what else did you did you want to happen today oh he has we have to pick Samuel up at 2, and I don't think we've ever told Samuel, so I will have to send him a message. But, um, Will, I managed to get him a doctor's appointment, um, today, so at 3.40, so that's going to happen. And then after that, uh, Will requested for dinner that he wants to go to Cheddar Scratch Kitchen. Yep, yes, I'm good. So, I got to have a Christmas message for Right to Story Read. Yep, so that's what's going to happen today. Um, so yeah, so we thought we'd bring you guys along with us. I think so, it's a great idea. Oh, excuse me, I had to yawn. Okay, well, I'm still trying to wake up. I got up at 9.30, so. <coughs> what does Will want for Christmas? Yeah, Maybe Will. a Christmas day you have never seen or Christmas Eve for the best family or friends. Friends, so to go back to normal for the Amazon gift card special delivery day for awareness before. 
anyway, I guess the first scene of for for, uh, for for dear Santa Claus for writing letter notes for Cassidy for uh, RCC for envelopes uh, for letter writing. All right, but what do you want from Santa Claus? What do you want Santa Claus to bring you? I think for some. Uh, some For a for a ten or three DS or charger for a for some for a for a title switch for a new one for a for a Mario Kart Life uh, for the box uh, for scene for a um maybe a uh, something for iPads for a new one for for a to go see the for iPads charger for to do for a for Amazon gift cards for uh, for fifty dollars and one hundred dollars for you do. I think that's it. Okay, sweetie. We'll be right back. Thank you. We'll be holding a tiny to great joy, which means all people friend, and friends. But I'm to you from Born to Stay Christmas wishing star for the Christmas fiance and Savior, who just crossed the moon. Glory unto God in the highest, and our earth peace through all toward man. Very good, Will. For Bottle Vest, Christmas wishing star. And what's your famous Christmas song? For the Waltons at Christmas Can for you... 1999. For CD, for soundtrack. Can you sing a Christmas song? <sighs> you know, the snow made for crying when your snowman is gone. When it looks as though he's nothing for the puddle on the lawn. Is he tiny to really happy? Because you know, he's rooming out the snow. Can't stand. You see, the sun white turns so on puddles it's a come to candy clouds. And Can you sing the Christmas, Christmas song? Shaped again. Can you sing the Christmas song? Christmas, Christmas time. You remember that? That's okay. Our oh. angels sing. Glory to a newborn. Very good, buddy. Really good, Will. Yeah, Christmas carols. You like to sing, don't you, bud? Yes. So, what else does Will want to do? Maybe we went to do a Christmas shopping. What about you guys? Um, has everyone finished with their Christmas shopping or have you yet to get started? Or I mean, I hope that's not the case, but how about you guys? Yes, I'm good. Not going to say it. <laughs> Still not going to say it, little kitty's playing blank? Oh, that's what our channel used to be called, but before we were hacked and our channel got stolen and shut down. Oh, this is hard, very hard, um, getting started again with the channel. The Will Skrushky channel is gone. Is your channel gone? Yes. I'll have to look and see. The records on your red YouTube. Uh, Seatbelt. I hate this thing. really weird. 
times. Tightens up on me and then it <laughs> loosens back up. Pretty like good, yay. Oh, yes. I'm still trying to get my eyes to stop watering and focus. All Takes the, me a while. All the snow is melted. Sure, you do snow days at winter. Yeah, but it's. 40 degrees outside, yeah. overcast. Yeah, most of the snow. I mean, you'll find little little patches like that intersection back there, over there. There was some uh, snow still, but um, yeah, for the over here in front of us right now, <laughs> it's all gone. You know. We were lucky that uh, the governor yesterday didn't upgrade uh, Warren Shit, County no to purple goose. level. It's still in the red. So that means it's numbers are getting better. Hopefully the vaccine, they're talking what? Uh, Ohio, at the end of the month, before Christmas? Probably yeah. late January. certified Finn is an emotional dog for me. Um, it's valid through the entire United States and Puerto Rico, so I can take him anywhere. Um, I've got a certificate, uh, and then the official certificate's in the mail, along with his uh, collar, leash, and a jacket. 
explaining that he is an emotional service dog. So, um, I'm excited. I mean, Finn goes nuts when he's not with me, and I kind of miss him, you know. He keeps me going. You know, he's, he's like a child. I mean, he's only a year old. And, Will there be like a vest you have to put on him? It yeah, it's a, it's, it's a vest. Okay. I, I, I don't know if it's a service dog or say emotional service dog. I don't know. Oh, wow. Um, so, it cost you anything for this? Uh, the paperwork and all that, I got a coupon through the Service uh, Animal Association. It was 50% off. And then you, from that site, you can get... They had a GPS collar you could buy for an extra 100 bucks. So yeah, I Christmas. yeah I saved fifty I saved fifty percent giving him stuff. So does the vest come with <coughs> the, the price package, in the package? The package I picked, yes. So how much was the package? Fifty percent off. Uh, well, the overall was a little over a hundred, and I only had to pay fifty three. Well, that's not bad. Your uncle went through the uh, one less package than mine, mm -hmm. where he takes his dog everywhere. Yeah. So. Not taking anything away from normal right service animals, but you know, Thank for my you. depression and my anxiety, having a service dog with me constantly does help. The Dickies Barbecue doesn't have a drive through, they we have to walk in to get our food, and they have a it's one of those places where you can walk in and take your food away, or you can walk in and sit down. Now, with the COVID, I don't know if that's changed. I mean, the last time my husband and I ate there, we were able to sit down, but... I think we still can, because the service level hasn't changed. Okay. Uh, you got to wear a mask to go in and order and all that, and then you can take them off at the table while you're eating, so... This, um... This little shopping area that we're at, they also have a Starbucks, and I swear, this Starbucks, they get so um, crowded that you can't even turn. You're like stuck. I mean, I don't know. I, I have a very hard time oh paying five, five dollars for a drink. It's just, it's a, it's just a, um, Why are you so mad I don't like, like bad, dude? to do it. I, you know, I mean, I'm perfectly happy with the um, drinks from McDonald's that are two bucks, you know. That's just me. That I have a hard time paying five dollars because I don't think their drinks are like, oh my gosh, this is the best five dollars I ever spent type thing. Okay, so there's Kohl's, there's Five Below, there's TJ Maxx, there's PetSmart, Blue Dollar Tree, Famous Footwear, some Health Place, some Sally Beauty, T-Mobile some nail and spa thing and then target so this is the mall the little it's not a mall but the little so shopping area where we're at and where we're, we're gonna, gonna go. resume in five below see you in a few minutes mm. look at will he is so ready to go shopping he is so cute he really enjoys it and we're heading to the store let the race begin yeah he's uh <laughs> And I'm only hand carrying uh, uh, my cell phone, so there's times you're like, wait a minute, is that a drunken sailor sitting there? What's going on? But no, he gets hype, really super hype on this to the point where you have to get him to calm down a little bit because he gets too hyped up. And as they go walking down the sidewalk, <laughs> there's no one in sight. They're in the lead for the door. Let's see what, what it takes us. Now, I can only follow one person at a time. So I yeah. followed with Will first. And then Will was getting, you could tell he didn't want me to film him. or Because he kept running through the same aisles. But uh, Melissa can comment on some of the products you might see through the videos. Yeah, I think Will just likes to, you know, kind of be alone to pick, decide what he wants to get without feeling maybe rushed. Maybe he might feel kind of rushed if we, like, follow him. But, yeah, he, that's like when we go to Dollar Tree. I just let him 
go on his own. I know we won't leave the store and um, he'll do his thing and then he'll um, we'll meet by the register when he's ready and yeah he's he's just going around kind of seeing what they have and then he'll make uh, some decisions. Yeah, people were looking at us like, what's going on? What are they doing? <laughs> and uh, there's, meanwhile, you're, you're not hearing it, but there's a lot of loud music being played in, in Five Below as well as the Dollar Tree. So yeah. uh, we're doing this little side item. I didn't even get to check over there to see what kind of sizes they had. They had a shirt you might like. I'm on the naughty list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got to get his... Will's always got to get his soda. He always thinks of... Uh, what does he need for the... Until the next... Run. And he always gets balloons. From... Uh, from Five Below. Always. And they're very tight on my fingers to try to... Not those, man. You know, I should have got more than one box of the um, lemon heads because I thought my lemon heads were going to be here two days ago this Monday, and now they won't be here till next Monday. So I'm like lemon headless. I got none. Well, heck, if I would have known that while I was at the store tonight, I could have picked up some. He must have changed his mind here because... Well, he started off with this slime here. Yeah. So I asked him what it was, and he's like, slime. And then I left him alone because he was going through the same candy aisle around in circle trying to lose me. So I figured. <laughs> and meanwhile, you were yelling for me. I'm used to it, ladies, being yelled at. Where are you at? Come over here. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to look at everything. I mean, it would really take a good amount of time to look at every single thing. And I was kind of hungry because we hadn't ate yet. So I wanted to wait, make sure that Will had time to get what he wanted. And then I just kind of looked around to see if anything would jump out at me. Oh, there's the missus. It's like, hey, what are you yelling at me about? <laughs> Oh, the, that flat. blanket is so five dollars is so cheap for that blanket. It's super nice, and I got a good deal on these face masks. It was three masks per pack, and it was normally three dollars. And they had this marked down for a dollar each. The packages. And you're still bragging about that blanket. <laughs> I was contemplating about getting two, one for me and one for a gift, but it's like. We've got plenty of blankets, so I didn't get one. Well, look at that candy aisle. Yep. You and your addiction. <laughs> I'm like, there's there's where it's at. If, there's the lemon heads. If I could send Melissa to the Betty Ford Clinic, it would be for <laughs> Popaholic and lemon heads. Yep, a lemon head addiction. addiction. Little desk lamps. Yeah, those are useless. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how good some of this stuff is, but... Overheating and... The electrical type stuff. Like, they had right there a little... Uh, where you put scents, you know, like um, liquid stuff in it. I thought that was kind of neat, that little light. Um, oh, this is what killed me. Oh, I never, yeah, right here. I did not know that I can buy sage... I mean, how below. would think you would... Oh, I'm going to go to everything five below because I need to get up some sage and, and burn it in my house. Yeah. Yeah, Paul went back. It's like, what? Crazy. Oh, and I next time I'm going to get me some of these. I am definitely going to get... They were so freaking soft and so pretty. They look like little rosettes and it's super soft. Uh, pillowcase. I'm all about comfort and softness and fluffiness and I'm all about that. 
But look, this is a really good comparison I did here. Those are the everyday type of throws that they always have there. And I showed you, like, there's the special Christmas one. And there's the ones they sell every day. And look how much thinner they are. Yeah, so that's a really great buy for the red and black buffalo check. I had a hard time keeping up with you. <laughs> You're like one of those women who get out of the nursing home. I'm free, I'm free, let oh, me go. Look at the cute little baby Yoda. Let me out, let me out, I'm gone. It's like, you don't get out much, lady? <laughs> Those sets right there are really cute. You get some um, coloring pages, pretty many, at least, at least 50 coloring sheets. And then you get, I don't know, about eight um, gel pens. I don't use gel pens to color with. I, I like to use like colored pencils or like big markers, you know. But like those things under there were for really small kids, but I thought they were kind of neat. Something that, like you could give them in the car to keep them busy. They did have a nice cookbook, um, dessert cookbook. And those are like some pages you can doodle on and do journaling at the same time. Well, speaking of cooking, you know, when Mark and uh, Smokey Mark and Steve came out with their pumpkin mm -hmm. recipe. Uh, was it pumpkin cake? Yeah, pumpkin cake. We're going to try that, fellas. Yeah, for Sam's birthday, I'm going to make that for him. Yeah. So, thank you for passing out that recipe. Appreciate it. Yeah, I ran my cart right into that pole. I did not even see it. And I, I thought that was so freaking cute. I wish it wasn't all green. I kind of wish... The background was a different color, but, you know, it's so cute. And that one, too, like a little baby reaching up for the guy. But out of all of the three, I liked the one that, that I picked out. By the way, ladies, I came in last place of being picked out. <laughs> so Paul put it up. He's got it hanging on the curtain. So you guys can kind of see it. But the, on the end cap here, they had some really neat things like paper airplanes. Like those would be really cute gifts to put in a kid's stocking. Um, I'm trying to remember what. Uh, teaching you how to draw manga, Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure, oriental figures. You know, manga, that was the red box. And right there is the dessert cookbook. I mean, stuff looked really good in there. Again, that might be something the next time I go in that I'll get. And I did not even get a chance to look at all the ant, the dog stuff. Peanut really could use a coat. Because this no, poor little thing shivers to death. No, I don't. <laughs> they had all kinds of cute, cute stuff. And I wanted to, I was heading right now towards the socks because I also have a sock fetish, or not fetish, but an addiction. I have to have my soft, fluffy socks. It's part of my um, nighttime, you know, ritual to make me comfortable. My feet, the older I get, my feet get really cold, but I, I also, too, have to have really soft, cozy things because it's, adds to the comfort. I have to be comfortable. So, and I was talking to the lady about their socks. How much I loved them. I, I eventually would like to find a nice pair of llama socks, but I really don't like those little, really super short, almost like liner socks. Those things do not, they always want to come off my feet and I don't like them. I think a few minutes after that, we could head over to the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So I did find 
some nice socks and here he comes. See there was that but they were short, really short socks. Yeah, depending on which socks you get, they're anywhere from three to five. But that one, yeah, so you can really see there the beautiful colors. On the video at home, you couldn't really see them that they weren't that pronounced, but yeah, really nice. Like, I never hit the makeup section because I don't wear makeup. So I always just go right past that area. Yeah, we love you all natural. Well, you know, since I turned 40, 13, almost 14 years ago, the stupid hot flashes have never stopped. So I'm not even going to deal There's buddy with Will. makeup. Yeah, we caught up with Will and he had his basket, everything that he wanted. Balloons, slime, sodas, <laughs> more balloons. Some... Cheetos. Cheetos for snacking. Oh, a Reese's Christmas tree. And we slowly check out. And then we're going to be heading over to the Dollar Tree. And we're at the Dollar Tree. Well, yep, right thank you here. for joining us. Quickly, she hits to the glove area. Yeah, because the boys, we got theirs like over a month ago. And I wanted to make sure Paul and I got some before they were gone. Because the boys, the men's gloves were really nice. And some, like I said, I was, some of the stuff at the Dollar Tree I just passed right over. Like, I like to go to the beauty section where they keep the socks, where the, some of the food and candy is, um, if I'm rushed. You know, if I know I'm on a set amount of time. If I don't have to worry, then I will, you know, go down all the aisles. These were really, really cute. These little miniature nail polishes. That's the set right there hold, that I'm holding up that I actually picked out for myself. I don't know why some of them are in the white and pink box and some of them are in a black and white. I never could figure out what the difference was, but they were really, really cute. I thought we thought it was one was glitter. I know, but when I looked metallic. at it closer, that was not the case. Oh, oh. And we don't... We never get some of the stuff that everyone else gets. Like, we never have received any of the flower items, Drew Barrymore stuff. <sighs> yeah, we don't have very good. We're just not that special. Yeah, our location is not that special. I mean, granted, I take them a Dollar Tree that's 25 minutes away from the house. And that's the largest Dollar Tree we found so far in Yeah, in that Ohio. was a pretty set, too. This is... Uh, in town, this is the, the biggest one. They're um, a big, a medium-sized one, and the one closer to the house, that's just a gas station filled <laughs> up with the Dollar Tree stuff looking, you know. Kind of gives you an idea of the size. So. Yeah, I just, since Paul over the summer got me a lot of nail polishes I just picked out one because um, I didn't have silver so there was a silver and a dark purple and what I thought was an even darker purple was actually a dark sapphire blue in the one that I got yeah I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything new that was a face um, sponge type thing. I was looking for some of the um, Dermacil lotion that I really liked. And those things there are so cute. Those eye, you can, mine are in my refrigerator, in the refrigerator to keep them cool. You can heat those up. See that the kiwis and the donuts. It's to depuff your eyes. It's like, what else can I find here? I'm not one to buy like a bunch of face masks like that. I just, I don't uh -oh. do that. Recently, remember Cynthia Beaumont? Coconut oil. She was complaining that the stores had all these empty shelves over the top. And she was like, why don't they lower them down and all that stuff? See, right here is where I found 
the lotions. This is an aloe variety of the Dermasil, which I should have picked up because the other store, and that's the cocoa butter. I got three cocoa butters at a different location, and I picked up one of this eczema with the chamomile right there. Love that stuff. Love it. I'll always look at, you know, shower gels and stuff like that, but you can look, look at our shelves. Our shelves are not stocked with everyone else's. And we don't have a, a big section of stuff. Like some people have a whole huge roll, row of just one. It's like you know, they're walking in. It's like, what? They're walking in a Walmart, you know. Yeah, ours is like, you can tell we don't have very good selection of anything and there's not much at all i saw someone hauling those were the men's um shower gels i think is that what that was yeah i thought that was like snake oil or something no it was for men <laughs> i don't know what i was doing there here's and look at this see you can see right this is a perfect example of the socks pitiful it's just ridiculous and i was just looking at and then it's like oh my gosh i spied my socks that i wanted it's like yep i'm getting them is it possible that five below bought the socks and fill up their <laughs> <I don't laughs> who knows but i did get that pink pair that i didn't get the first time yeah i was super super happy there that i found them Yeah, pitiful. Pitiful selection. But look at all those boxes right there in the aisleways. I never saw these before. Next time I'll go back and buy a purple one to put in my gift basket. I thought if I got one of each of those for a gift basket, I would stack them and tie a pretty ribbon on it and put that in a gift basket. That would look really cute. I have high hopes for it. I hope it lives up. There's been some bath and body stuff that I've got that's been so, absolutely they, horrible. They had the whole back row of the store filled. Yeah, with. and there again you can see how empty it is by the cleaning supplies and stuff. And we got there about what? Oh, there's some hand sanitizer. Around 10.30? Uh, no, it was... Oh, yeah, it was. Around, it was. Because we spent about some 10 time. And again, I'm always complaining. Look at this pet section there's hardly any kind of toys we did have a couple type of bowls this time i was showing the pink and the purple were glitter and the blue was harder to see it was glitter too so they did have that but see pitiful i was looking at cat collars to see um, what colors they had, and then Paul's like, don't get a cat collar. No. Yeah, I'm a meanie. I'm a Grinch. And here's some more bath stuff. I did see a different type of brush that I didn't have, so I did pick up one of those. I have a bath brush, but it's the loofah. See, I'll show you right here. That's the exact one I have at home. It's purple. I like it, but you can't scratch your back with it. That's why I got also got one with the brush so I can scratch my back. These were head massagers. They're just plastic with little plastic beads that rotate. Those are the three color choices, purple, pink, and green. Those were just very, very small um, bath bombs with a very small thing of like uh, bath salts, I think it was. I was excited here that, to find one of those head wraps um, for people with longer hair. If you can put it on your hair if it takes longer to dry or wrap up your hair if you're going to do like a really messy mask. That's also going in my gift basket. And here is the very picked over combs and stuff. 
I never really pay attention to like their cell phone stuff because I don't think it's worth it. I don't think the quality is very good. There's a few decorative boxes. We don't have any large size like a lot of people. They're just very small. Decided I wanted to go down this one aisle to see what I could find. I was looking for a big gift bag. I couldn't find one in the Christmas section. So we actually got one. Um, I was asking Paul there, do we need to pick up some tape? We just got, ended up getting, finding a big bag, but it wasn't, definitely wasn't Christmas, but you know, you gotta get what you can get. So I was just seeing the different designs. I didn't want to get one that looked super girly. No, if we don't use it for Christmas, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's the one I chose. We can always wrap his gift in that and then just get a super big black bag garbage you know long bag and again look you know um you would think they do that late at i don't know i mean what do i know um all i know is they had a lot of boxes in the aisleways of stuff so some stores can't afford to have a night shift to put out stock and there's some but of they the did, no, stuff they did have a help wanted sign uh, for three different shifts, and oh, one of them they? was from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. I'm, I'm assuming that's when they do their stock. Mm -hmm. They had these really cute little, um, the reindeer right there that I picked off the top shelf would be cute for the dogs because they don't have plastic on the eyes or anything. I always do check that out. Like, I won't buy something that has plastic eyes for the dogs because then they would swallow it. I did manage to find a big, huge thing of dishwashing soap. No um, antibacterial spray, though. And the crafting section is very, very small at this location. You can see that whole basket area is empty. Look, look how empty it is. And we were blessed in this store. We weren't, there wasn't that many customers that was in the, Yeah. Uh, we had to walk around while filming. The teacher section for schooling was. I didn't find any new word search books. I had a bunch of those before I went dog sitting and now I'm almost gone. And I'm all, I ordered some fill it in books and I've got maybe one or two out of the six or seven that I had. So I'm kind of taking a break of doing puzzles and working on one of a video game right now. But here's the little tiny um, DIY crafting area. And another area that we hardly have ever have anything is glasses like for crafting. They put those decor glasses there, which in my opinion should be back in a different aisle. But we don't have the decor stuff. See, see how empty that is? I was very surprised that I found the llama picture. And here's the decor items. Don't blink or you'll miss it. There's the pitiful candle selection. That's another thing, we, you can't find good candles. So some of the stuff you just can't find. I don't know who orders the stuff, but not very good. Well, they said the good stuff goes to the stores that sell more, and then they distribute out what's left. Here's all the different kind of, um, again, ho, more, ho, ho, no. yeah, stockings. Man, you got to have an awful big feet to put your foot in there. <laughs> Paul picked out one that he liked.
And look behind me. That's the floral section. You see, it's empty. There's a little bit of floral on the left side, but then the Christmas floral stuff is empty. You can see what you saw the teeny few little picks they had there. Less than 10, I was maybe for, five. I was looking for llama stuff. Yeah. He's good about looking for llama stuff for me. Listen, fellas, if the little woman's not happy, the whole house is not happy. See? There's good the tip. floral section. More boxes on the floor. The only other store that I've seen worse with stuff on the floor like this is Toys R Us. <laughs> Everybody took toys off the shelves and threw them on the floor. And I'm not exaggerating. In Chicago, my brother worked for Toys R Us. He for caught me. He caught me in the candy aisle. He's like, are you almost done? Yeah, shortly after this, um, we'll be uh, transitioning back to the car. <laughs> I was giving him a rough idea how much I'd put in the basket. Yeah, she likes to give me a heart attack. It's like, man, you got 200 items in here. What the it's heck? It's like it's around 20. Stuff adds fast. I maybe had one, two items, and that's it. And then from there, we went straight over to wait in line. But then he did find, uh, he had a chance. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, we, uh. I think they had a really good selection at um, Everything Five Below. Um, some really cute things. They were playing music, so my, unfortunately my husband may have to... Uh, Mute all that audio. Yeah. Um, For both stores. On some things that I knew, like at Dollar Tree and, and maybe from the other place, if I liked something... Or if I have actually bought it and liked it, I gave it like a thumbs up. Um, we ended up spending 40 some dollars at everything five below. And then we ended up spending $26 at the Dollar Tree. Paul did do some filming in the Dollar Tree. Uh, obviously, when we get home, we will do a big haul to show you exactly everything we bought. Um, yeah, so it's, right now it's 11 o'clock, so, uh, you know, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm not, did you eat breakfast? No. No, Paul didn't eat breakfast, um, and I'm sure Will ate his breakfast hours ago, because he likes to eat when he gets up. Thank you for choosing White Castle, what can I get for you today? I need four White Castles, extra pickle, and a medium fry, with lots of ketchup on the side, please. You said four sliders, extra pickle, and a medium fry? Yes. It's 5.53. Did you want to round it to $6 for autism? I, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. 20 sliders, 15 bucks. Yeah, this is the year, everybody. Yeah. Trying um, to get donations. What's, you guys, I've got a question for you. Um... My seatbelt is acting silly again. I have to. Uh, I have a question for you guys. What is your guys' take on? It seems like you can't go anywhere anymore. Every time you go to pay for something, no matter where it's at, Target, the do I don't think they ask us for, at the Dollar Tree. They did ask us, I think. At yeah, they did below. at Five Below, and now they just ask us at White Castle. Um, but I'm noticing. <laughs> A lot of places anymore, whenever you go to pay, they're always trying to get you to donate to something. What's your feelings on that? Do you really think that the people they're collecting, supposedly the donations for, do you really think they get that money? Or, I guess you would call it a scam, or do you think it's a scam? What's your guys' take on that? Um, my husband never, you know, doesn't like to do it. And I'm conflicted. I really don't know how to feel. I honestly don't. That's why I'm asking you guys how you feel about it. Um, so please, um, tell me your thoughts on all these different places supposedly taking donations for um, whoever. 
they're all different they're always different you know I don't know like I said I'm not really sure how I should feel or how you know I don't know if it's if it's valid if it's true or if it's I don't know so please just um, let me know this is the mask I'm wearing today <coughs> um, with the flowers on it it's got the the nose thing this is the problem on a lot of these masks you really need to have this nose thing otherwise it lets um, if you don't have a proper fit around the nose it really fogs up really bad and that really irritates me to no end and this one does have a pocket for a filter which I don't have because I sweat really bad under these things when I take these off I have all these different wipes in my glove box uh, a, a small thing of antibacterial wipes which has 15 counts I just opened and gave one to Will I've got this bigger 40 wipes antibacterial but I like to keep these in here from the Dollar Tree I wipe my face off every time I take this off because I am so sweaty and hot that this really feels really good to wipe my face down with this and then blast the um, air conditioner on my face it helps me cool down so I really like it here's buddy wills thank you there's buddy wills white castles with his french fries we're gonna get him his drink um, over at uh, see how red my face is miserable um, we're gonna get his drink it comes in a nice plastic cup at Dickies they oh, should be healthy. open now that it's 1104 well you got your mask on honey yes there's a pocket okay we got to put the mask on okay so we can go into Dickies See you later. Yep. Thank you. Hello, I'm back. Happy Christmas. <laughs> We're it back, everyone. It wasn't everyone. for me. We got a Christmas message for a running story. It's Will Skursky. Yep. Okay? We are done <clears throat> eating at Dickie's Barbecue. Um, I took my, imp it was, I ate all the um, macaroni and cheese. They had a new dish. And if you have a Dickies near you, and if they have this side, you should try it. It was Asiago, <coughs> and I know I'm butchering it, Asiago, or however you say that, spinach. Oh my gosh, so good. And if you're a person that says, I hate spinach, I wouldn't try that. I'm telling you, you would never, ever know that it was spinach. It was so good. The spinach did not have any kind of a bitter taste. And you tasted a very strong <clears throat> Asiago or Asiago, however you say it. Pardon me for my mispronunciation of that cheese. That's all you tasted. It was so freaking good. So I was really happy with the side dish that I got. And we're going to be putting pictures in. I got today's special, which was uh, the pulled pork. You got a square roll, which I gave to Will. And I got two sides. And it was only $9.99, so I got mac and cheese. And I put my leftover pulled pork for the babies. We're going to give them some when we get home, our little babies. Um, Peanut, and Finn, and Emma, and Bella, and we'll even see if the kitty wants some. You know, the kitty likes lunch meat, so every time I get lunch meat out, I always, <coughs> um, <clears throat> I tend to put hers on the top of the large freezer we have otherwise Finn will steal it but anyhow uh, $9.99 really really good and Paul got the Westheimer the West what? Westheimer 
special. And his had like a hoagie bun with the pulled pork. <clears throat> Kiabasca. Excuse sweet me. Cheddar and sweet barbecue sauce. And sweet barbecue sauce. <clears throat> and then you got how many sides with yours? One. One. And how much was yours? <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> really, really, really good. Hmm. I, you know, here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm really, really difficult person to please when it comes to barbecue sauce. Um, and this is the only, Dickie's is the only barbecue restaurant where I found a sauce that I absolutely love. And it's the sweet. So... You get your pork or whatever your meat you choose and it's dry. It doesn't have any sauce on it. And then they've got these three dispensers now. It's kind of cool. I should have taken a picture, but it's basically almost looks like a drink dispenser with one of these um, tabs that you go like this. And they have three of them set up. It was spicy, original, and sweet. So that's how you get your sauce out. You get these little cups you can put it in. Or just pull your platter over there and, you know, just like that. But really, really good. I always, I have yet to get, have a bad meal when I go to Dickie's. I've never had a bad meal. But we actually tried a barbecue joint called the one in Mason Paul. Um, oh my gosh. Something, it has to do with something with the forces. It's something with the, like, fire department. Or, or servicemen. Servicemen. Men and women. Yeah, something to do with servicemen barbecue. And I didn't like it. They didn't have a single barbecue sauce that I liked. Um, yeah. So I didn't... We've never been back there. But yeah, this always is good. And uh, I ended up getting the large do my trailer trash Tammy finger tap um, Dickie's barbecue and you know it Coca-Cola is the best did you know they have a barbecue everybody's got apps program are we on their program where we can earn bonus stuff I got the large drink and Paul and Will got the little the little cup but we use these at home they're really good to um, I use these cups a lot like if I'm gonna take some dog food up for peanut those are the cups I use we keep one in the um, the dog's food bin it's, it makes a good scoop so yeah you can definitely reuse these oh. Okay, so... Will, do you have anything you want to say? Will! <laughs> he's got his... He's got his headset on. you have anything you want to say to people? Merry Christmas, everyone! Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's 1140, and, um... We're going to pick Samuel up from school at 2... 25 is roughly 225, 230s when he will come out the door. And then from there, we're going to go straight over to where Will's doctor appointment is. And I'm going to take Will into his appointment. And uh, Samuel and Paul are going to wait in the car. But we are going to do um, a haul to show you, a haul video to show you what we got at, at the Dollar Tree and at everything five below. <coughs> So yeah, we're having a good day. It's very gloomy looking outside. Um, there you go. But having a good day. So I know the, mm, man, this barbecue smells good. I know the, the fur babies are gonna love this. They're gonna really appreciate it. So we're gonna split that up for them when we get home. And then just relax a little bit until we have to leave. I'm gonna, I'm playing uh, 
Stardew Valley on my Nintendo or my Switch Lite and had to restart it um, because my Switch developed an issue and we had to send it to Nintendo. Apparently they couldn't fix it so they sent me a different unit which meant I had to start all over again. And I had 240 playable hours and I lost all of that so I started over and I've been playing that so I'm sure that's what I'm gonna do after I make the video and give this to the babies so also I may go to Big Lots, some maybe Sunday or something. Um, they did, we haven't been there in a long time, so they did send me a $10 coupon um, off of $20, so you can't really beat that. So I may have to go in there and look around and purchase some things and, you know, spend 20 bucks and then only pay 10 That's a pretty good deal. So... I may search out and purchase some more of my fluffy socks. I absolutely love fluffy socks. It's a must for me. It's a comfort thing for me. And uh, the thing is with the with the soft socks that I like to wear, <clears throat> excuse me, over time, they do tend to get um, where they lose the softness and they're not as pleasant to wear on your feet when I stop wearing them, like I'll, you know, tie them in a knot. Oh, they had another place that, shoot, I couldn't see what it was. Um, you can tie them in a knot and then give them to the dogs to chew on, you know, keep them busy. So, yeah. My drawer has to be full of socks because I wear, a, you know, a new pair every night, so I'm constantly changing them. And you know, Will, it's really cute. Interesting. Um, Will enjoys wearing them too, so he gets he gets in my socks. And you know, I tend to get like co girl colors, pink and purple, and Will could care less what color it is. He likes to wear them too. So sometimes I try to get some that aren't such girly colors. So if he happens to wear them, you know. But, yeah, love my comfy, fluffy socks. We are home. Okay, everyone, we will um, continue inside. Okay, Paul, you can click it off. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest contacts. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.